Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Glad you're joining me today. We're gonna do a lot of stuff with the tractors. In fact, maybe so much stuff, I'm gonna make this a multi-part series here, but we're gonna have fun either way. It's a beautiful spring day here, April 2nd, 2020. You'd never know the pandemic that's going on in the world with coronavirus, but uh, you know, prayers and well wishes for anybody affected by that, you know, and in some way we all are, right? It's just a complete shutdown right now around the country. It's just pretty incredible, but you know, it's a great day for me to get out here, get that fresh air, keep my social distance, which I'm pretty good at, by the way. I think most of us tractor owners are pretty good at uh, keeping a little bit of social distance. We're probably the pros at it, you know, but we're gonna try out the Wallenstein chipper here today on the 1025R. I've also got the brush crusher up here. You know, I've got the heavy hitch tooth bar on the front of that bucket as well. I've got some projects to do with those. You know, the chipper really, I just wanna get out here and destroy some stuff, okay? Over here on the front end, I need to get to the other side of a ravine that's over there. I got some plots that I wanna put in. You know, I've been out here six or seven years now and I still have not managed to get to the other side of that ravine with the tractor and put in some plots over there. This is the year that's gonna change. You know, and then on the 4066R cab tractor, got the land leveler, the land plane on there. Over on the other side of the hunting lease, you know, there's just some really rutted up areas and access road that comes in that the farmers use for the fields, you know, planting and harvesting, all that kind of thing. And we're gonna see, I don't know if it's dry enough over there really, but we're gonna give it a shot since we have it out here, see how the land leveler, the land plane works, and if we can regrade that surface there at least somewhat, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey, and if you like what you see, would you please consider hitting that subscribe button below? Yeah, it's just right underneath there. Hit subscribe, join the fun, leave a comment as well. Love to get feedback from you guys, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, that kind of thing. Check out that description below as well. I put a lot of links in there, okay? Over to my Amazon store, you can get some good tractor accessories or attachments on there. Thanks for the homestead. Also go to goodworkstractors.com. All these attachments that you see here, the tractors too, I sell it all. I'd love to help you out, put together a package or just sell you an attachment, just sell you a tractor, it doesn't matter to me. It can help with delivery and financing too. This is great.
you know, instead of risking damaging my tractor with this stupid tree falling, I'm gonna give old Chippy here his first meal. I'm gonna cut it up. I got this electric uh, DeWalt chainsaw here, it runs off the 20 volt. Last fall, I haven't had a chance to use it yet, to be honest with you. I just uh, had some projects and you know how time goes by. Anyway, putting it to use today, we're gonna try it out and see how it works. Let me know if you guys have used these in the past. Curious to see what you think. It's not gonna replace the regular chainsaw, but I figure what the heck. I'm not gonna do a lot of cutting today anyway, so good chance to try it out. I'm being honest that was a heck of a lot of fun i could do that probably just for hours and hours on end but we're gonna get back to it here that's just a little just a little snack for chippy here okay so we're gonna get to the job at hand and we'll get back to this later on all right guys so this is that washout i'm talking about and this is about the best uh point that i can find here with the least amount of washout <laughs> really so it's already fairly gradual here but I want to get this stuff cleared out of the way and kind of build it up here so that I can get, you know, the 1025 or a larger tractor. Who knows? Maybe my 4066 navigated all the way through here and up to the other side. So going to have a little bit of tree work to, to do as well to get right through here. But first step is making a path and then we'll go from there.
Whew. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I just got done with traversing the ravine, and I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I've gone back and forth here several times now, made sure it's nice and stable for the tractor here, and uh, I like what it's done. This tooth bar here is absolutely amazing. You know, as you'll see here, as, as I'm going through this, there is just an absolute ton of rock in here. And so um, this property here that I lease out was actually destined to be a rock quarry at one point. And, um, you know, so when I put in the food plots and all that kind of thing as well, you're just constantly turning up rocks and stone all the time when you're tilling. Um, even if you're out brush hogging, you still, there's boulders all over and, you know, boulders and rocks all through this right here. And that tooth bar just does a great job just kind of picking them and then you can kind of slide them or roll them or scoop them and push them wherever you want. So really did a great job there, but I tell you, it was a bit of a nightmare getting back in through here. It took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, just trying to navigate through all the fallen timber. You know, I still have at least twice as far to go to get back to where I want to put this food plot in. It's an old logging trail from years ago that's overgrown. I need to get in there first and uh, brush hog it, and then I can get in there and, and till it and plant after that. So I've got time. This is the biggest step right here was, was getting this far. I think I can probably navigate that other timber there fairly quick. Um, building this up right here, making it traversable, you know, cutting down the trees that were right here, right in the way to a low enough height to be able to get through here was a big deal. Tooth bar did an awesome job. Brush crusher did a great job, you know, getting all the way down here, being able to pick, and you can almost just slide that thing along the ground as well and just kind of, you're just scooping it and raking it and pushing it where you want, or you can clamp down on it and pick it up and move it around. You know, I gave uh, Chippy here his first meal as well on a couple stubborn trees that were in the way that didn't want to move out. so. Hey, I said sayonara to those guys and took out some frustration. But there's going to be plenty more work to do out here in the summer, and I hope you join me. You know, if uh, the virus doesn't kill our property deal that we're buying, we're, we're supposed to be buying a new house right now with 40 acres. I intend to have a lot of projects, a lot of land um, development projects there with food plots and, and cover and, and switchgrass and all that kind of stuff as well. Who knows? Only time will tell. Man, it's a crazy world what's going on right now. Hey, make sure you check out the other parts of this series as well. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button below. Check out the description. We're going to get to some action here with Chippy. Also with the land leveler, see how that bad boy works. And who knows what other kind of crazy stuff we'll get into here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Let me give you my thoughts on these duels so far as well. You know, well, not just the duels, but also these VersaTurf tires, a new radial tire that's out for the 1025R. I love them, okay? These duels are amazing, and they give you so much lateral stability here. I don't think I would even accomplish this or even try it, I should say, if I didn't have the duels on there or wheel spacers, one or the other to give me a lot wider stance. I mean, there's so many rocks and just hidden rotten logs and holes and divots and everything else where it's just way too easy to get uh, off balance there because there, there's just so many obstacles. I mean, there's just too many things to keep track of. So I have the extra lateral stability here. I have a lot of ballast weight. Again, these are loaded up. I will say, I wouldn't exactly say that these tires are self-cleaning. They are chock full of mud. Uh, there are some cleats here that are that are emptied out, but you can see, I mean, 85, 90% of it is just full of dirt and material and everything else. And it is pretty wet back in here, so that's probably part of it as well, but uh, something to keep in mind. However, I will say I have not lacked for traction. And so maybe it's just cleaning out and jamming it new as it goes around, I don't know, but uh, when I've looked down and noticed it, I've noticed that they're full of mud the entire time. However, that being said, I've had really good traction in here. I haven't had any moments that I felt like I needed more traction. It is in four wheel drive. I've been in four wheel drive the whole time. Again, just because of um, the, the tippiness, unevenness, I wanna make sure there's as much ability to get traction at all times. Anyway, so I wanna give you my two cents there because this is definitely the harshest test. I've done a lot of plowing with these and work just great with a snow pusher, but being out here in the woods in an off-road type of environment, hilly, you know, odd loads, all that kind of stuff, they're doing great. Absolutely love them so far.